Mustangs. Today is Friday, March 2nd. I am your host, Thomas. And I'm your co-host, now Kayla. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You will now say the Mustang Pledge. Today, I will do my best to be the best. I will listen, I will follow directions, I will be honest, I will respect the rights of others. I can learn, I will learn, I know it's all up to me. Now for a moment of silence. Please be seated. Once you have pepperoni, pizza, or, chi or grilled chicken, green beans or corn, Apple wedges or frozen fruit cup or delicious cold milk. And now we have a few announcements. Today is our last day of Real Cost America Week. Don't forget that we will have a storybook camp to play this morning at 8.30. Be sure that you will have a book that matches your costume so you can participate in the parade. The winners of, of the AR Arena Olympics will be announced today during a related art celebration. The top three readers from each grade level will get to put a pie into the face of someone special. The library will be closed today due to the related arts celebration. Teachers do not send students to the library with books. Next Thursday is class picture day. Go ahead and start planning your outfit for the day. You will want to look your best. And now for a few words from Dr. Leach. Good morning, host and co-hosts. Good morning, Mustangs. <laughs> Today is Friday, and we have a few birthdays on today. We have James Monroe in Mrs. James' class. Happy birthday, James. We have Dylan Ramsey in Mrs. Lynn's class, and Tanya Reed in Mrs. Sims' class. Happy birthday. When you see these students, make sure you tell them happy birthday. And also, um, Dr. Seuss's birthday is today. We're ready to have his character parade in a few, um, in a few minutes. We also have some terrific kids to recognize this week. You have R.J. Brunson, Isabel Doherty Harvell, Camden Ross, Kaylin Ackerman. We have Camden Simmons, Jaquan Johnson, Carrington Crosby, Grace Fisher, Tyler Hazan, and Bryson Brown. These are our terrific kids for, for this week. And um, I see a lot of students are walking around ready to be in the character parade with their books and they're dressed up. And I have my book as well, and it is called The Principal from the Black Lagoon. And that's who I'm dressed up today like. So um, if you have not read this book, read this book. I'm sure you would enjoy it. Now for a few words of wisdom before I pull out the Mustangs. Born March the 2nd, 1904, Theodore Seuss Grezzo, better known by his pen name, Dr. Seuss, was a writer and a cartoonist who published over 60 books. Dr. Seuss's first book, And to Think That I Saw It on Mulberry Street, was rejected 27 times before it was finally published by Vanguard Press in 1937. Talking about perseverance, he did not give up. He continued to try to have that book published. Next came a string of bestsellers, including The Cat in the Hat and Green Eggs and Ham. And I think y'all had that for breakfast this morning. Mm -hmm. His rhymes and characters are beloved by generations. With whimsical characters and snappy rhymes, Dr. Seuss not only entertained, but also offered timeless words of wisdom for young and old alike. In honor of this great man's birthday, here are a few words of wisdom. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direct, in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know, and you are the guy who decide where to go. And this is one of my, from one of my favorite Dr. Seuss's book, All the Places You Will Go. This is Dr. Leach with a few words of wisdom. Make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours.